it's time for closing ceremony and next year's invitation. So, please welcome Tune, Jose, Fernando, and Klaas Gerd Packer from Netherlands. There's a bit of an intervention before they all get up there. That lens cost 140 euros, which is a lot of money for you. So if anybody can spare a few euros, please do so. I'll be passing around the hat to get the 140 euros. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if we have to really sit down because this is, this is not a very long ceremony. But really, believe it or not, we are at the end of the second day of the 35th conference and it's time to say that this part of our stay in, uh, well, in this building for sure, but our stay in Azores is uh, ending. We will have some social activities still. We will meet for a dinner tonight. We have something going on tomorrow, but we're also going to part soon. And first of all, and foremost of all, I would like to thank RTP so much for a perfect arrangement for both planning it, hosting it, and for the very hospitable way that we've been um, received here. And for a perfectly, uh, what can you say, um, uh, what is that in, in uh, well, now I've spoken so much English, I'm losing words. For a perfect arrangement in all ways. You, it's, it's been very good, and that's, what, that's the feedback that I get from everybody around. This is really one of the best. So, maybe, what do they say in the Olympics? The best games ever. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much to Jose Maria Lopez, to Carlos, to the staff, to the technical staff, the service staff, to everybody from RTP that have really made a difference, really made an effort. I just want to say that when Portugal wants to do something well, they win Euro Cup, they win Eurovision, and they organize this, this conference in such a perfect way, and they are so hospitable. I give the floor to, to Jose Maria Lopez de Araújo. And they even have a 60th anniversary. <laughs> So thank you, thank you very much, you are very, very kind. For us, it was a privilege to welcome you uh, in Azores. I hope that you enjoy your time, the conference and uh, the panels and the discussions. I myself, I tried to follow the majority of the panels, which were really very, very interesting. Uh, I'm sorry because today is raining a little bit and some winds. But uh, we are in islands, you must uh, never forget about that. So we just uh, come with uh, some wind and some rain just to, to remember you that you are in the middle of the North Atlantic. So this evening we are going to have the farewell dinner offered by the Azores government in a wonderful place. Um, I'm sorry because it's raining, but I hope that we can see the, the volcano activity and we are going to have a fantastic dinner, I hope. So thank you very much again for coming to Azores and to Portugal to have chosen uh, my island to meet the 35th conference of CIRCOM. Thank you. I, I just want to also thank the backstage of this organization uh, with uh, Lorena, the head of the RTP Azores, uh, Jose Maria Lopez de Arujo, uh, as our at the, until this moment, Vice President of CIRCOM, uh, to uh, Carlos Mayo, Rui Martins, Ana, Santana, Clara, Carmen, and also the backstage of CIRCOM, who have been working very hard these days, Branca, Brigitte, Tonia, Fletiana, Guillaume. So I want to mention them because they deserve a recognition. We give a big applause for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, sorry, 
I, I mentioned them as well, but if they didn't hear it, if you didn't hear it, we give them an extra applause. <laughs> And as always, it's not a goodbye forever. Next year, it will be the 36th annual conference, and then we'll move north to Netherlands and to Friesland, to Leeuwarden, and we're very happy to be going there, aren't we? It's, this changes. Last year, it was Plovdiv. Now it is in the Atlantic, in uh, the Azores. Now we go north again. And uh, Klaas Rijet, please tell us something about Leeuwarden. What are we going to meet? Thank you. Um, well, we're uh, based in the north of the Netherlands, and maybe as an introduction, we have three official languages in the Netherlands. First one, main one being Dutch, second one being Western Frisian, that's our language, and the third one being Papiamento, which is spoken uh, in the Caribbean, our former colonies. <laughs> um, we are a station, as a host station, that broadcasts not in Dutch uh, and also publishes not in Dutch but in uh, Western Frisian. So theme, main theme of the uh, next year also will be language and cultural, culture. Um, I'm not going to talk very much to you because I have a, a little video ready, I hope, uh, two minutes. So let's watch that. You should get an impression of Leeuwarden, the city, uh, Friesland, uh, the region where we are, and also Omrop Friesland, the host station. Thank you. Maybe I should say one more thing to end this, um, to quote my good friend um, Donald Trump. Come to Leeuwarden, it's going to be great, it's going to be huge, it's going to be fantastic. And by that, this conference is ended and I'm looking forward to seeing you for a lovely dinner again tonight. Thank you, I have nothing to add. You have been wonderful audience. Yeah. <laughs>